why are they nerfing Nanami Pulse? Like, why are they doing my girl dirty like that, boys? Hi, welcome back to another Punishing Grey Raven video. My name is Lace, and today I wanted to talk about this bad boy over here. So, massive credits to da 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 Mimetic Charizard. Actually, I think I completely butchered your name. I'm so sorry. Mimetic Hazard. Mimetic Hazard. Either way, massive shout out to you for putting this together. It's really, really nice. But essentially, what we have here is the Fallen Star update, all of the QOLs and goodies. So, QOL means quality of life. Essentially, it's just a bunch of like bug fixes as well as features which are going to make your life a lot better. Your PGR life, that is, guys. Like, I can't help you get a girlfriend, okay? And so, essentially, what he's done with this is he's gotten a whole bunch of like the different updates and sorted them kind of by like the, well, what exactly they are. And so, as you can see, this is all of the content updates. This is all of the Tower of Babel updates and just stuff like that, right? And so, like, we have it also sorted by September and then October down here because technically speaking, we've got like the A Watanabe stuff over here as well as the Ayla and all of those events associated with it. And then, after that, we've got the S Bianca and the Sophia. And so what I really want to talk about today is like, well, all of it, but like, I really want to point out the really important parts because like you could make some informed decisions from this. However, like sometimes it's a bit too long to wait for. But generally speaking, this is a hype video. Like we're going to be looking at all of the awesome changes. And so like, with that being said, let's get into it. All right. So just like quickly flicking through this, the first thing we've got is this bad boy over here, Riot removed from boss pool. I know a lot of people hate Riot. So this is probably one of the biggest changes for y'all. On the other hand, we do have an increase from three to four attempts per day. So what this means is that you can actually push your pain cage one day back. A lot of the time, one day isn't going to make that much of a difference. But however, if you are a procrastinator like me, then this is all the world to you. Moving on from a construct point of view, we are getting 80% selectable rate ups for A ranks. I know this wasn't the case for CN, but for all of the servers that came after, I believe this was the case. And then following after that, we have A Watanabe Dark as well as Ayla. So that's going to be some pretty sick like DPS and tank stuff. Moving on, combat we've got leader assignment yellow and blue leaders so this is actually really important because like not all the time do you want your leader to be on red right especially if you watch my pain cage video and if you guys haven't checked that out go like check it out i'll leave it in the description below but essentially one tactic that i had was like having your main dps on a blue slot rather than a red slot for like the early stages so that you can crush the boss in like sub 10 sub 5 seconds right just like some cheesy combo i guess this really helps that because more often than not you're going to be using a tank or a healer in the red slot if you're using strategies like that and so it makes like strategies like what I just described a little bit better. And so moving on next, we've got manual lock. So that's just been like heavily requested. Locking has been such a nightmare so far. Memories, we finally get the save and assign memory set. So it's actually really cool that they came up with this stuff like really, really early on. And on top of that, we do get Baron in the event shop. And so like if I come over here and come over to the memory guides, uh, this, no, this one, no, this one. Essentially the way that this worksheet is structured is actually really good. So you see we have Paton over here. And so after that we have Baron. And then so like it's actually actually going in sequential order into the times that like the events actually came out. And so after Baron, we're going to be getting Zuwen. And then after that, we will be getting Liu and Hua. But yeah, that's just a pretty cool observation in that like this is sequential. So you guys can rest assured you know what's coming next. Anyway, back to this bad boy over here. So we've got uh, Baron coming in. And then after that, this is an interesting one. So you got chapter nine as well as story missions. So you guys already know like right now we can get one for Da Vinci from the story missions. And so that kind of trend actually goes on as every chapter is released. So like in this month, we'll get Fred so this month, I mean like September. And so moving forward, you guys can expect a lot of the six star memories. However, like generally speaking, you want them as early as possible. You don't really want to suffer in your war zone or your pain cage. So just like try to get them as early as possible. All right, after that, we've got the Watanabe shards in the shop. So that's just exactly like how a Kamui event has gone. And honestly, speaking of that, like it's really, how do I say it? It's very, I wouldn't want to say repetitive, but essentially like the end game loop is like really the same. So if any of you play pre-con or like any of you play like actually any gacha, generally speaking from an event point of view, it's going to be the same thing. It's just going to be like clearing out event stages and then it's going to be buying stuff from the event shop. And then also generally speaking, like we're going to be able to farm the A shards like every single time. All right. And so with that being said, moving on, we've got Tower of Babel. So this is a really, really hard game mode. There's a lot more to Tower of Babel than all of this, but like, let's just focus on like what exactly is going to come. And so the rewards are 2-5 Hana, 3-6 Darwin and 1-4 Da Vinci, which is ironic because we already got a 1-4 Da Vinci. It's like they want to just stack us with Da Vinci's. It's kind of freaking weird. Uh, at least we can use it for like resonance or you can actually recite cycle it for like another six star memory or something. But yeah, if you are like missing your Hannahs or your Darwins, you could consider holding out for it. I think we've got like another 24 days before we can start seeing this update. The three Darwin is really good because generally speaking, you want a one, two, three Darwin. And as for the Da Vinci, the Da Vinci four is good. However, you should already have it from like your story missions from like the previous chapter, chapter eight, I think. And as for the Hannah, Hannah two, five, Hannah one to six, they're all like kind of the same stats. They're all like not really that great. The effect itself is really good. But what I'm trying to say is that like the one to six, I don't think it actually gives Hannah any 
priority over some of the other like memories that you could slot in. And so with that finished, let's move on to Serum plus 60 daily Serum for completing two dorm missions. This is music to my ears. It's this kind of stuff that I kept seeing on like TW and then when like PGR Global launched and I was like, well, where is it? Where the heck is my Serum? But yeah, it's only a good thing. And so let's move on. Other QOL weekly bounty red dot indicator as well as loading speed optimized for retries. It, it is what it is. That's exactly what it sounds like. And then moving on, we've got bug fixes for various six star memories. Fixes for Lee carrying a live. I feel like we actually have a lot of the bug fixes already in game. And so unless they come out with patch notes, I'm not going to 100% know what these ones are. But I do know that there is a Karenina bug in which a lot of people do abuse for like Warzone. Unfortunately, I do not have Karenina, so I cannot test it whether this is true or not. It's just a rumor. Like, don't take my word for gospel, my dudes. But yeah, that's what I'm hearing in regards to Karenina. However, with that being said, let's move into the month of October. Look at that. S. Bianca and A. Sophia. All right. So if you look at this one over here and think about this as though it's the Fallen Star update, you can look at this one down here as more as the next one, which is the Eternal Engine event. And so this is when S. Bianca and Sophia are dropping. So that is your lightning DPS as well as your fire support. For those of you who are running like your S. Karininas or like your S. Nanamis and whatever, like you will want that Sophia in your team. However, there are a lot of instances where Sophia is actually kind of replaceable and you don't have to run her. She's a lot less mandatory than I would think she was. Anyway, with that being said, let's hop back over here. So we've got new content. We've got the Eternal Engine event, exactly the same, like I said, Sophia shards in the shop. Again, generally speaking, you're always going to be able to farm out the new A unit in the shop, but then this actually raises like a really interesting point. So if you're going for S Bianca, which most people, if not everyone should be, you should be trying to hit the Sophia first before you actually like use up her shards. And so moving on next, we've got the Tower Babel. We've got 3-6 Cotty, 2-5 Condolina. That just looks like fodder to me. And then 1-4 Frederic. Generally speaking, you want slots 4 to 6 for like Frederic because of the low attack. However, I feel like I have seen the Frederic. Did I see a Frederic up here? Yeah, I did. And so since we've got Frederic up here already, that's actually going to be either like a resonance or it's going to be fodder again. All right. So moving on, we've got the Condolina again, which is fodder. However, 3-6 Cotty is quite nice because she does show up in a, quite a few of these like end game memory sets. So if you guys don't know who Cotty is, she is this chick over here, Adolf. And so as you can see, we've got S. Karenina that runs Adolf. Like who else do we have? We've got the Luminance. So that's S. Liv. But generally speaking, like a two-piece Cotty or a two-piece Adolf, because again, they are one and the same. Like you can't really go wrong with it. And so yeah, 3-6 Cotty, it's good. Let's hop over here. And then we've got the Adolf slash Cotty. So we've got high attack. So what this means is that you do want your Cotties to be in four, five, six. So that six Cotty is going to be really good. Three could be considered fodder. But again, this is from like a purely min max point of view, like honestly speaking, like you can make up that difference typically with a little bit of skill and RNG. All right, moving on, let's get back to it over here. So we've got like these guys for Tower Babel. And then we've got Memories, Heisen in the event shop. So this is really sweet because if you guys didn't know, Heisen essentially gives you lightning damage. And so if I pop over to this tab, where is my S Bianca? Oh, where is she? What the frick? All right, so Veritas, or is it Verity? I thought it was Verity. Anyway, so we see like we've got the four set Heisen for both the pre-awakening and the awakening. And so because Heisen is in the shop, you will be able to farm her for S Bianca. So that is like really, really freaking sick. So on that note, what you could do is you could prepare for, like your Fredericks. So like we are getting the one four from the story missions. So what that means is that you could get like uh four, five, six, so either five or six Frederick from like shops or a war zone or something like that. And then voila, you've got your four set Heisen as well as your two set Frederick. I personally wouldn't recommend you build Condolina just because like she does not appear really anywhere else. It's not really overly many characters that actually use her. However, on the other hand, Frederick is actually like quite swappable around. She is quite good. As you can see, four Frederick there, four Frederick there. We've got two Frederick there. Like Frederick is like, although she's not one of the most common ones, like she is actually used quite a fair bit, right? And so, yeah, I think that's enough for that one. What's next? So we've got read story without playing levels. Oh my God, finally. And then after that, a fix for manual lock on and lock on button. So I think there are probably a couple of issues. However, I would anticipate that if they've already got the fix, hopefully it would actually come in when the lock on actually comes in here. And then what we have here is the auto for resource map. So this is essentially, it's not like really your skip tickets, but it's more like your stamina stacking, I think. So essentially like you go into a stage and then you're going to be like, okay, well, I want to clear this stage five times, but I'm only going to do it once. And so the stage is going to be like, okay, well, if each one of our stages costs 30 and you want to run it five times, I'm going to take 150 of your stamina and then I'm going to give you five times 
the rewards and then you're going to only have to run it once. And then I'm going to be like, yeah, that's cool. So that just made my like PGR playtime going from 10 minutes to like two minutes. It's a good thing. Like I think repeatable grind should just be like skipped all the time. Although I do understand that a lot of people do not share that opinion, but like, let's save that for another video. All right. So lastly, we've got these bad boys over here. Nerf, Nanami, Pulse. Oh, come on, man. She didn't even do anything wrong. And then we've got fixes for Karenina as well as fixes for Kamui. So that's really nice to hear. However, like I'm pretty stoked. Like that's, that's all I really want to say about this. Everything here here, a lot of the great QRL is actually stacked in the September update, which is really what we want to see. I think there are a few like couple of key important updates or features that are coming. So I'm talking about like the 80% selectable rate out for A ranks. I'm talking about this boy down here, save and assign memory sets. Like I don't know how many times I've freaking done that. And I'm talking about like the, um, where is it? This boy over here, which is the stamina stacking one, but like really there's something else I wanted to show. Ah, this one, the serum. This serum actually is going to make a, it's not going to make like the world a difference but like it's actually a significant chunk if you think about it we get about like 300 maybe a little bit more serum per day like for free to play players at least and then adding another 60 is going to boost your progression or your activity by about 20 percent give or take right but yeah a lot of fantastic things to look forward to you've got Ayla, you've got watanabe and yeah welcome to the end game this is essentially what it's going to kind of look like for like the rest of the game and so i guess with that being said i think we've actually covered the entire sheet i didn't actually intend to cover the entire sheet but like there was just so much going on and so i hope that was helpful i hope you did enjoy Enjoy the video and so let's start wrapping this bad boy up i've got a secret question for you guys and that is out of all of these different features and updates which one are you looking forward to the most for me it's like a tie between the save and assign memory sets as well as the 80 percent selectable rate up because if you are new to the channel you know that my luck is a little bit crippled i still don't have a karenina and so hopefully i will be able to pick her up from this one actually i can't even remember if i'm actually going to be rolling on this one but yeah my favorite feature has got to be that one or like this boy over here and so if you guys could drop your favorite feature down in the comments below i would really appreciate it because it means that you've actually watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much but otherwise please consider a like a sub a comment a notification bell thing you guys already know what it is and as Ayla once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye